Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. Have you ever pulled up a fish and had his eyes bulging out of his head? Maybe it looks like his stomach's popped out of his mouth. Even his scales look like they're bubbling up off his skin. What has happened is this fish has gone through what is called barotrauma. In this Tips and Tricks episode, I'm going to show you how to do what is called vent a fish properly so that you can ensure the survival rate of this fish and that he can go back and recover naturally from it. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is explain what barotrauma is. So what happens is you hook a fish and you reel them up. There is a rapid change in pressure that happens to the fish. The gases inside the fish's body start to expand. They rush to the swim bladder and they have nowhere to go. When you pull the fish out of the water, like I said, the symptoms are his eyes have looked like they've popped out of his head. His stomach sometimes looks like it is protruding from his mouth or it might actually look like his scales are bubbling off of his skin. Next thing you know, you try to release the fish, you throw him back in the water, and all he does is float upside down and kind of flap his pectoral fins, looking like he's trying to go back down, but he cannot. He has this reverse pressure built up in his body that is not allowing him to swim back down due to the negative reaction that has happened to his swim bladder. So in order to reverse the symptoms of barotrauma there's a simple process that being an angler you should know how to do in order to ensure the survival rate of fish you want to release it is called venting what this is is the swim bladder is located on their pectoral fin right behind it they do sell a special tool called a venting tool however you can most definitely use the pointy tip of a knife to relieve the pressure from the swim bladder so what I'm going to do right now is give you a live example of a mutton snapper that I caught that had the symptoms of barotrauma. And then I performed the procedure of venting the fish, explaining what I'm doing so that you can see exactly how it's done. So let's get into this. Here comes our fish. And looks like we got mutton snapper. Little mutton snapper. He's gonna need to be vented too. So I want to take this opportunity to explain how you vent a fish. So I can see his eyes are bulged out of his head, so he has pulled up too quickly. So he has what's called barotrauma. So to vent a fish properly, what you do is you take your knife right behind his pectoral fin and you gently just stick it right below and you'll fill the air bladder. Decompress. And then he's going to be good to go. Swim back down home, happy fish. And that is how you properly vent a fish to ensure that he survives. As you saw, he swam away. He's happy. He's going to swim back down. And once he hits the atmospheres at which where he was resting below the surface, all that bear trauma will naturally go away. And he'll be just fine. If you vent the fish improperly and you stick the knife in too far, you're going to kill them. You have to be careful. And it's like everything else when it comes to fishing, practice makes perfect. It's almost like you're playing fish vet. But this does make good practice for releasing fish that show these symptoms. If the fish is not showing the symptoms and he's lively and flopping around, you do not have to vent him. Pitch him back in the water so that he can get breathing. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you learned about how to properly vent a fish to keep him alive. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.